hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be narrated by a very sick matilda i have the flu so excuse me if i sound a bit raspy but i really wanted to have a video up for you guys and this video i'm going to be transforming this pair of pants that i thrifted years ago they're so baggy i can't wear them anymore so i thought i'd turn it into a cute top that you can style three different ways so you can wear it like this look cute not too much skin or you can go ham and show off that body do the tie strap I really like this style I think it's my favorite after the last one and I just love how summery and cute this is and this is my favorite it's like a square neck top but not really she's cute she's in the building she's bringing it the back looks a-okay I am so pleased with this result so if you want to see how to do it for yourself let's do it so first things first, I'm going to cut off the leg. Uh, this is going to obviously be the sleeve to our shirt and the longer your legs the better. So I do advise you use very big pants for this if you want very long sleeves. And I just folded it in half that way I could get equal sleeves. You don't want to have uneven sleeves. I also cut off that crotch bit because who wants that in their top? Mm -mm, not me. And I took a top that fits quite well and in hindsight I should have left a bit more seam allowance because my top was really tight um, but it worked fine so in case you're doing this get a top that you really love how snug it fits just not too tight so I'm just tracing off the top and I'm leaving some seam allowance that way I can sew and the top doesn't suffocate me to death because breathing is very important people okay <laughs> I am just cutting off my top, taking my sweet time, and yeah. Once we sort of have our top, I'm just going to lay the right sides kissing so that we can sew this. And I'm just putting in some pins that way she stays put and does not move about as I'm cutting and sewing. And I took that top back so that I could make this top fit better. And this is where I messed up because now it became a bit too tight but it was still wearable. And I'm just going to sew down the sides and then snip off the excess fabric that way you have a nice fitting top. Also, I evened out the bottom. It was too long, so I did cut it short. I did not cut it evenly, so I do advise to use a ruler for this. That's why my top looks a bit wonky in the shots, but I'm fine with it. I don't mind. Now we're going to make a tunnel at the bottom of our top. So the top is just going to be a rolled hem, but at the bottom, I'm going to insert some elastic. So I just decided to make a tunnel. Make sure you leave a gap, obviously, so that when you're sewing, you don't sew all the way through. As you can see there's my gap don't forget to leave yours and now I'm just going to do a rolled hem at the top that way the top can look finished and beautiful and does not unravel while I'm wearing it so just repeat that throughout the entire top of the top and at the bottom sew and make your tunnel and then you're just going to measure the elastic around where you want the top to sit i actually ended up going higher because yeah i made my top really short but that was my elastic and now what i'm doing is i'm just passing it through my casing that way she can fit nice and snug so you're going to be using a lot of elastic in this video the only point i didn't use elastic is at the top and i kind of wish i had because the top was a bit too snug so you can use as much elastic as you want it's all up to you a lot of people ask me where i get my elastic i get it off aliexpress i will link it down below in case you want to purchase where I usually get mine it's very affordable and it's the only place I know of so yeah I hope that helps you guys once my elastic is passed through my casing and just shushing it out as usual make sure the elastic is twisted within the casing and then sew the ends together once that's sewn just tuck it back in and close the gap and you have finished the top part basically Moving on to the pant legs, aka our sleeves, I'm just going to make a tunnel for the elastic again. 
as I said, elastic is your friend in this tutorial. You're going to be using a whole lot of it. So yeah, I'm just making my casing, taking my sweet time, pinning everything down and make sure to leave a gap. You don't want to sew all the way through and then you don't have space to pass the elastic through. So make sure you leave a gap, that way you can pass through your elastic. Repeat to the other sleeve, obviously. And to get the elastic measurement, as this was going to be a square neck top and an off shoulder top, I measured both measurements and I used that bit of elastic and I passed it through my casing and I was good to go. I'm just pinning one end to the pant leg <laughs> so that it doesn't move about as the elastic goes in and once it emerges on the other side I'm just going to join the two ends together and sew them down that way they stay put. Really check that your elastic isn't twisted within the casing because that is so annoying and it looks weird. So yeah, once you've shushed it out and everything looks fine, repeat to the other sleeve obviously and then you're going to move on to making the wrist. Where there was a casing which was already there, the hem, I'm just going to push in the elastic. I'm not going to sew this shut, mostly because it's going to be on the inside anyway and no one's going to see it. So I just left it like that, but make sure you tuck in your elastic and conceal it as much as possible. You can obviously sew it down in case that's what you want to do, but I just wasn't in the mood for that, so I just decided to take the lazy method. So now the final bit is to attach the sleeves to your top and you are good to go. You have your beautiful top. As you can see, my bottom is jagged because I did not use a ruler. I recommend using a straight line so that you have a very even top. Otherwise, I really love this top. You can style it by taking a bit of excess fabric and tying it in the middle of your top to make a tie detail on your top. And I think this is so cute and since I did not want the bow being seen I just tucked it into the inside of my top and I was good to go look at how cute this is I am so obsessed with this polka dot detail and I'm definitely going to be wearing this I am so excited for it and the last and final way to wear it is the square neck way and all you're going to do is take the sleeves up and it just stays put because your elastic fits anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video let me know if you would try this DIY for yourself I would love to know other than that I'm going to go take some hot lemon and ginger because I am dying of the flu guys but thank you so much for watching I hope I catch you in my next upload until then bye